Hey everybody, welcome back for another Proto Tech Tip. Cody here from Protocase, and today we're going to cover notching. So, in a previous Proto Tech Tip video, Motaz covered the concept of minimum bend dimensions. We've got a link below so you can check out the full video as well as a blog post on the same topic. But to give you guys a short version, a minimum bend dimension is the distance that a cutout should be from a bend in your sheet metal design. This minimum bend value is determined by the material type, the material thickness, and the bend radius and the specific tooling used to create the bend. We have a resource on our website that outlines all of the minimum bend dimensions and bend radii for every type of metal that we offer. So let's go through an example. If I'm using 14 gauge stainless steel and choose a bend radius of 0.13 inches, that'll give me a minimum bend dimension of half an inch, which means I'll need to make sure that my cutout is no closer than half an inch to the outside of the bend. Because if I place my cutout closer than half an inch to the bend, watch what happens. The cutout has stretched. But what if you absolutely have to place your cutout closer to the bend? You may require an opening for access to an internal component, or your design may need clear access to connectors through front panel cutouts. So this is where notches come in handy. So a notch is a cut in the material to provide bend relief. When used properly, notches allow you to skirt minimum bend dimensions to place cutouts and fasteners closer to the bend. So in this sample I have in front of me, watch what happened when the cutouts edges were placed too close to the bend. You see the stretching? But on the other sample, the engineering team has added notches for bend relief, and by doing this, the cutout stays intact and dimensionally accurate because of the section of the panel is not being bent. So, in addition to getting closer to the minimum bend, notching is also useful for a few other design scenarios. Let's go through a couple of them. So number one, creating a flange smaller than the minimum bend. Sometimes a flange just needs to be smaller than that minimum bend dimension that's required, either to allow access to a component below or for inserting a piece of hardware. Number two, bend sectioning. This can be especially useful in rack mount enclosures, particularly 1U rack mounts, which are the smallest height-wise. Deploying a notch will allow the proper cutout to be accommodated because the panel flanges have been sectioned, rather than going straight across. Number three, accommodating standoffs and connectors. So by using notches, you can position your standoffs and connectors closer to the front edge of an enclosure. If you don't use notches, the chassis front flange is gonna obstruct the cutouts and will interfere with your standoffs. Finally, number four, Notches can be useful for giving you easy access to your internal components. For a component like a PCI bracket, notches are helpful for providing relief for connectors that protrude from the bracket itself. But as you can see in this diagram, a notch also helps give you easy access to the PCI card with a screwdriver. So in short, notches are very useful for allowing you to skirt around minimum bend dimensions for placing cutouts. But notches can solve many other design challenges as well, including placing connectors close to a bend line or giving you easier access to your internal components. If you've got a design in mind where you think notching may be useful but want to talk through your options, our team would be happy to help. Reach out to your Protocase account manager to talk through your vision. So thanks guys very much for watching this week's Proto Tech Tip, and we'll see you back here next week for another one.